All right. Well, Neil. Yes. This is uh, the first episode, I guess, of Infinite Loop, right? Correct. Uh, we were trying to figure out how to start this off, but uh, I guess we'll just start it off with the reason we're calling ourselves Infinite Loop. Um, I don't know. Uh, it, going back about six months ago for me, I mean, Neil, you were saying what? 2017, you started seeing things a little differently? Well, uh, I guess time frame really doesn't matter, right? It's just perspective now. Uh, so, you know, like, uh, I was always that guy. The, the dark cloud always followed me. Uh, you know, I had a shit finger. Anything I touched turned to shit. <laughs> if I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck at all. You know, any sort of... Uh, any sort of mannerism... Or, or saying you can think of for bad luck, that was me, you know? And that's what was happening. And uh, it was it was like this repeating circle, right? Like, like repeating history, like uh, uh, lesson after lesson, but it was the same lesson, just different, different uh, characters. <laughs> And, uh, you know, one day I woke up, you know, through, through a little course and Shana, of course, helped me along this path to start thinking about things differently, but I'll get into that another time. Uh, I said, I'm going to wake up and have a good morning. You know, like, uh, I've had so many mornings saying, oh, this is, this is going to be a shitty morning or I'm sore or tired or. You know, every excuse you can think of to have a bad one. And I said I'd have a good one. And, uh, Neil, I don't know. You remember me talking to you about that? Yes. Feels forever ago now. Yeah. But yeah, I was just... And, you know, that was out of the blue, right? Like, that was... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I think you told me, like, a couple days in. Yeah. I think I was embarrassed to tell you, to be honest with you, at first. Like, uh, I, I don't know. It seems silly, right? No. Uh, Maybe at first. It's like, what? Because it's just like kind of weird, but then it's just like, why not? Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've had so many bad days. Why not starting to have a few good ones? And then changing that one perspective just started changing everything for me. Like, uh, uh, I don't know. Mo moments seem to to be better. Uh, uh, food. Uh, I know that sounds silly too, right? Like you think just changing one perspective, saying I'm gonna have a good morning, will get you to that point. But but yeah. it's the building blocks that get you to that point, right? Like it's it's opening your eyes to a different a different path or a different avenue or. A rewiring. <laughs> I, uh, you know, at some point along the lines, we, we all programmed ourselves to, to, there was an action and there was a reaction in there. That, that was how we were wired. That's how we were. So one day I had a bad day and I said, uh, well, the next morning I woke up and I said, I'm going to have another bad day. Right. But, it, but I never turned it off. And why not? Like, why can't it be on the the better, the better end of things, right? Like, it doesn't have to always be uh, be the grass is greener on the other side. The grass is greener right now, right here. And it's just changing changing your view. And then I started talking to people differently too. You know, like the same, same, same morning. I, I went to Dunkin' Donuts like I always did. You know, everybody runs on Dunkin', yeah. <laughs> uh, 
but I went to Dunkin' Donuts and I was just, uh, you know, I was a little bit nicer, happier, pleasanter. Not that I wasn't before. I just like they noticed it differently, right? Like, like they were sensing how I was coming across differently because I was coming across differently. Like, even though I would say those niceties, like, please and thank you, like, it, it was the intention behind them. Like, I was just saying them to, to have the niceties. Like, I wasn't saying things as, like, this this genuine, like, when I'm saying, uh, you know, how you doing? And you say good, and you ask me, and I say good. Well, I was just saying good to say good. It wasn't like yeah. a, a true feeling. Right? And, like, that's what changes everything is the intention, is, is the, is the intention. So that simple good morning or that simple uh, change of pace to, uh, to make it, you know, a little different uh, brought me to, 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 to this, right? Infinite loop. Where, uh, you know, just as things can be bad, they can be good. You know, and I know what everyone's thinking, because I was always thinking it too. Like, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's just a way of, uh, uh, you know, making it a little sweeter, right? But, uh, but it is, and it isn't. Like, right, just because it's making it a little sweeter, why, why not? Like, why can't you make it a little sweeter? Why can't it be a little bit better than it is a little bit worse? Right? Yeah. Why, why does it always have to, I don't know, like the shit end of the stick, right? Like, I, it, it was always the opposite, but it doesn't have to be, and it, and it shouldn't be. That's not how we were meant to be programmed. We were meant to be who we we're supposed to be. Uh, like a different, a different, a different type of people. You know, ones that, uh, that are more open and more, uh, more, more inquisitive, right? Like, cause, cause that's really what I mean by more open, I guess, is, is like, you, 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 you have more questions. Yeah. I guess. Right? Like why why do we why do we go out and buy toilet paper when when a pandemic hits? Uh, why do we buy loaves of bread when a winter storm comes and milk and when did these things start becoming the norms or the the reactions to to actions? Right, like because we we somehow along the lines accepted them accepted these things to be the way it was but it's not it doesn't have to be like it's not the it's not the materialistic things it's not the things you see on tv or instagram or or uh even money like you know Abundance comes in so many forms. Why are we so focused on the, the, this, this one, one avenue or this one, like when you were a kid, you never even thought about money. Yeah. Maybe once in a while when you want a candy, right? Yeah. <laughs> or a uh, movie theater, maybe you wanted it, but, but it always came down to candy or popcorn or something. Some silly, right? Yeah. But it wasn't important. Like, that's not what you got your joy from. That's not your only avenue of joy. And now with this, this generation now, like the way we are as a people now, it's, it's like, that's your only way, right? You need money to go on vacations. You need money to, uh, to live. You need money to live. And that's all they make you think like that's all you can that's all you can focus on so that's all you're worried about 
And then it's just this constant state of fear, of anxiety, of, of a repeating history, Groundhog Day, <laughs> right? The circle. But really, it's just for us to learn lessons. It's to learn about the things that are important that aren't important. To realize that everything around us is is there for a reason. Right? Like we project, we project what we are internally. Like what it's the same idea if you walk into a room and someone's in the corner of the room and they're clenching their fists and they're like, you know, they they they're not saying anything, but but inside they're screaming, right? Like you know they're screaming. And you can feel it. Well, if you can feel that just walking into their room, now imagine when you go out into the world and you're saying, hey, I'm going to have a shitty day. Like what you're putting out there to everyone. And that's what we keep doing. We keep, this is that cycle. You know, everybody wakes up and says, oh, here we go again. <laughs> right? And then it's like we're waiting for these moments. We're waiting for these moments. We're waiting for our vacations. We're waiting for the weekend. We're waiting for the end of work. We're waiting for happiness, joy. I couldn't even tell you what, what true joy was. Not, not until recently. I thought I was having a heart attack. Did I tell you that? I think I told you that story. I think really. so, yeah. yeah. I, uh, sitting on the couch, you know, uh, I worked second shift for two years, and uh, I felt like I never saw Shana and the kids, my wife and the, the kids there. And, uh, you know, so here I am, I'm finally at a new job, I'm finally sitting down on the couch, we're all, like, uh, cuddling, and um, I get this sensation of such chest pressure that, that I thought I was having, like, a, a problem, like a heart attack, right, like I had to get up and run, uh, but it was really, I was, I was happy, right, that's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> You sit back and you say, man, like, uh, how do you not remember what that feeling is? You know, but like sometime, sometime along the way, you just forget or you program yourself to, to not feel it or to not, uh, I don't know. Not anymore, though. You know, life's, uh, life's a lot more than that. And, uh, it's meant to be more than that. <clears throat> you know, you, you, you should be able to, to end every day and look at yourself and say, uh, you know, what was the best moment of my day? And have an answer, right? <laughs> Uh, I think that's the hardest thing is, is like sometimes you, you, you just you, you don't even ask the question you literally dull till the end of the day until you're sleeping because sleeping is the best time waster you know you can sleep any time of the day you can sleep all the time and, and it just passes by time next thing you know it's the next day and, and there's the same thing over again right like, like it's, it's you're waiting for your for your life's purpose or your your calling without without even searching for it without even like giving giving yourself a opportunity or a chance try new things you know or or like uh don't be afraid of of failing right right cuz like a uh, uh, failure is just a prototype what about the Wrights brothers? Imagine if they, they gave up after the first try. And we would be flying. 
right? And Eventually. It, yeah, yeah. One of these days, somebody would have been stubborn enough to to keep trying more than once, and yeah, you know. But it was like uh, we we see these people, but but we somehow along the lines we say that that can't be us, right? All right, we got uh, a little off track there for a second, uh, or sidetracked, I should say. But uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's changing views, right? That's really what we're talking about: changing perspectives, getting out of the 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 loop, the circle, the repeating the history, the the not learning your lesson the first time, and having it come back in another form. I mean, uh, finding joy, they're, they're, it's all related. And I think that's the, the hard thing about where to start, right? Like, how do you, how do you start down then talking about something that, that is all related to everything? It's the passing of energy. It's the exchange of energy. That's really what we're talking about is the exchange of energy. You know, and uh, uh, when I say exchange, I mean, I mean, every form you can think of. Uh, it's, it's conversations, it's uh, uh, food, uh, when somebody uh, just does a nice thing just to do a nice thing, right? Like paying it forward, uh, you buy the person behind you's coffee, or I, I don't know. It's uh it's just changing the programming. You know, the way we've been doing it just hasn't been right. It just hasn't been. It hasn't been the right way. We we need to start start thinking about other people. And not just for the benefit of ourselves. Like that's that's where we've gone wrong this whole time, is it's always been for the benefit the benefit of yourself rather than the benefit of us all, right? Because yeah. it's, uh, it's all of us that need to change, not just some of us, it's all of us. And uh, at the end of it, I mean, together we will rise, right? That's the... That's the plan. The goal. That's, that's the, yeah, that's the, that's the only way. Right? Because if we're not in it together, you know, it, it, it's, it's leading us all home. Whatever that version of home is for you. Uh, yeah. Well, Neil, I think that might be enough for, uh, for one day. Sounds good. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>